Hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Friday. I'm pretty sure this is a record. This is the third time I've been on Facebook Live this week. Yay! Um, so today I'm going to show you a fun project that we are going to use. It is uh, Silhouette Studio. You print and then you are going to add some little bling in the me in the way of foil from the foil quill. So this is one of those projects. It's perfectly imperfect. So what we are going to do, this fun little printable. Be happy, be you, be kind. I love this message. I'm making it just like a little printable. Olivia can hang it in her room or whatever. Um, obviously, you could put this on a shirt. You could put this on a bag. It would be so, you know, there's lots of different ways. I just love it as a printable. And we are making it a little extra special with the foil quill by adding the foil. Now, what you can see is the foil outline there is a little bit off. And you're going to see why. I love, though, the way that that kind of gives it that fun little, like, um, mm, I don't know what the word is, but anyway, it's perfectly imperfect, which is what I was kind of going for. So this design, I do have to tell you, is from the So Fancy Bundle of Bundles. Um, it, there's a bundle in there of kindness designs. This is one of them. That bundle ends tonight. It's actually 99% off. It's the biggest bundle we've ever done. Um, it has 270 SVGs and 74 fonts. So if you're interested, I link to that up top. Okay, so how do you do this? This design comes into Silhouette Studio. You're not going to probably be able to see my Silhouette Studio, but it comes into Silhouette Studio and it's already um, all colored and everything. So you don't have to do anything. The only thing that I did was make a duplicate copy and then the duplicate copy I made transparent so that way I could use that as the line that I'm going to foil quill, okay? So we're going to go from start to finish with this. Um... Now, bear with me because I somehow, I have no idea how, ran out of cardstock, uh, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So I actually had to take 12 by 12 cardstock and cut it to eight and a half by 11. So I have a standby piece in case, but this is all we need right here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece, this piece um, of cardstock, I don't, you probably can't see, it is textured. So for foil quill, it's actually best if you don't use textured cardstock. So this one has a plain, um, just a smooth backside and a textured front or whatever you wanna say. Um, so I'm just gonna throw this in my printer, just my regular inkjet printer, and we are going to print onto that directly from Silhouette Studio. Okay, so I wanna make sure that I'm printing on the non, like on the smooth side. Okay, so send that. Let's see. So we just have to send this directly from Silhouette Studio. And I'm just going to hit print. To get the best print quality, I want to make sure that I adjust my settings. So for this one, sorry to have my back to you. I can't really do it any other way. Um, so for this, I'm going to tell it that I'm using premium paper and I want best quality. Now, depending on the, the printer that you have, your settings might be a little bit different, but never leave your settings as default if you want a good quality print. Okay. So now I'm just going to print and it is going to just print, God willing, um, my paper. All it is going to print is the, the part that you see here. We have to add the foil later. Okay. Here it goes. Okay, good. So this is just gonna print out of my printer, my one of four printers. But I figured I'd been doing a lot with my specialty printers lately, so we're gonna go a little bit back to basics, like just inkjet here, okay? All right, so while this is, while I've been prepping all of this, I have my foil quill has been warming up, okay? So if you need a foil quill, if you haven't used one yet, um, you can get this, the pack, the kit that has three different size foil quills. Um, with the tip is what's different. You can get them at Swing Design. In the Cameo, they can be used in all of the Cameos and the portraits. Um, for the Cameo 4, you wanna use the D adapter, okay? So for the Cameo 3s and the other um, silhouette machines that have the different size uh, carriage, you wanna use the A adapter, but for the Cameo 4 and the Portrait 3, you wanna use the D adapter, okay? So this has been warming up and that's really important. You want your foil quill to be warming up for about five minutes because what we're gonna use is heat activated foil, which if you get the foil quill kit, comes with the foil. Um, and that foil needs heat to uh, be applied to the paper, okay? So this is, now most people think, oh, I need a toner printer in order to apply foil, no. 
not in this case. So we are, I'm just using a plain inkjet printer and here is my paper. Okay, so see how it doesn't have any foil on there yet. All right, so here's my little tricky trick. Now, in Silhouette Studio, I have my design. Now what you can't see is that I have my grid lines on there, all my grid lines, even the quarter inch. And the reason that that's important is so that I can line it up here. Now, in this case, I'm gonna try to get it so you guys can see. In this situation, I do not want my design up in the corner. And the reason is I need to leave an area exposed around my actual print because that's what's gonna hold my foil. So what you can see is this white piece here, which I just drew out in eight and a half by 11, I have it directly on the half inch down mark and, the, and my right corner is on the 10 inch line. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. So I'm gonna put two half inch down, the right corner on the 10 inch line, okay? And I'm gonna line that up and that's where I'm gonna place my design. Okay, now you want your paper to be on there really well. So I'm using a brayer. This is also, we are memory keepers. It's one of my favorite tools in my craft room. I use it all the time, okay? And then I'm gonna lay a piece of foil over top of this, okay? Because, and it's gonna stick. You can see I have a little foil left over here. It's gonna stick to the actual mat. This is going to prevent me from having to use, um, from having to use any tape. Okay, all right, so let's get these out of the way. Now here's a little trimmer that I like to use. This is the foil quill trimmer. You don't have to use this. You can use, you can use scissors if you want, but this is fun to use and easy. Uh, comes with all this, and then you just trim your foil, okay? You can also use this for vinyl if you want. Okay, and there. Oh, I was right at the end. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm moving you all around. I need a camera person. Okay, now I'm going to take my foil and I'm going to place it directly. Now do you see why I needed to expose, leave part of my mat exposed? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to use my briar again and very carefully I'm going to roll it across. Now, it's created this, you can see it's on there, but I need to do that on all sides and I need to make sure that my foil is as smooth as possible because any wrinkles in the foil are going to um, make it so that my design, it, it makes it so that the foil can't lay down as easily. And it will, if you have a wrinkle while you're foiling, um, you can end up with spots that skip. So see how I'm kind of holding it taut as I do this? Now, it's not sticking to the paper. It's only sticking to the edge. Hopefully you can see that, okay? Okay, so if you didn't expose your, if you had your paper all the way to the corner, like most people, you know, do it all the way to the top left corner, you wouldn't have any area on the left or the top to hold your foil down, all right? So that's why I'm doing it this way. It's just a little trick. If you don't wanna do it this way, if you wanna, if you don't wanna, you know, spare a mat, you can use tape and keep your foil down. Okay, so that's my favorite little hack of this. Now I have my foil quill, it's warmed up. I'm placing it in the left carriage. Again, if you're using a Cameo 4 machine, and when I, when I say a Cameo 4, I mean all Cameo 4s. So the 4, the Pro, the Plus, okay? Or a Portrait 3. I'm going to lump that one in there too. Use the D-adapter. When I say the D-adapter, this comes off, okay? Because these can be used in various cutting machines, not just Silhouette, okay? If you are using a Cameo 3, 2, 1, Portrait 1 or 2, you're going to use the A-adapter. They have letters on them. Okay, all right, so it's been warming up for at least five minutes and I'm gonna place it in there and now I'm just gonna load my mat, okay? And now, make sure that stays on there. You wanna make sure this stays. You need the foot. I'm gonna pull that one more time. This is not tight on here. Ah, this is where you don't, you don't want the, that is what you don't wanna happen and that's why I pulled that off there. All right, let's try this one more time. I may need to use a either a different mat or 
I need a little bit of stick on there. Kind of work up quickly if you can so that you your stick sticks. I'm ruling out any of those bumps too, okay? All right, now. Okay, now I made the, as I said, in Silhouette Studio, I made a duplicate copy with the foil lines, okay? And so when I am working in Silhouette Studio in the send panel, I'm only going to tell it, I'm gonna cut by line color or sketch by line color, all right? And so I'm only telling it that I want it to do the gold line, all right? So it's going to begin and it's going to foil those letters all the way around my design. Now the foil quill works the same way as a sketch pen. It draws the outline unless you specifically tell it in Silhouette Studio to fill in, okay? So when it's done, oh boy, I'm gonna see if I can add a quick piece of tape to the edge of this. Um, when it's done, it will look like this. Now the foil is, we're not using any registration marks or anything, so it's probably not going to be exactly on the edge of those letters, but that's okay. Oh, man. I could do this eight times before I get on Facebook Live, and then as soon as I get on here, we'll just keep that so it stays in place. And I'm gonna throw one on the back here too. That'll just keep it in extra place. But if you use a mat that's sticky enough, which I obviously am not, it'll all stay in place for you. Let's see. Where is the too much around and I can't really but I did at least put the link up there in case it comes in stock. And then the design, the design itself, like I told you, is part of the bundle of bundles, which is um, available until midnight tonight, Eastern. Okay, it's 270 designs, 74 fonts, 99% off. So it's a crazy big bundle. And don't be intimidated by how you download and install big bundles like that. We can certainly help you. There's ways to bulk do that. Um, they're all organized in, you know, zip files, so it's it's not as overwhelming as it may sound, okay? All right, so when this is done, that's the end of our project, and then how fun is this? You could put it, you know, hang it, you could you could make this smaller um, and use it as a card, you know, as a card. Um, I, you could put this on, like, a little clipboard or a, or a um, you know, cork board or whatever. You guys can't see. So, but something like that, okay? All right, so as soon as this is done, I'll show you the big reveal. <clears throat> so kind of a fun, different type of a project. Um, different ways for you to use your designs. Again, this is something, this was already colored in. It was, you could change the colors if you wanted. Um, there's lots of different things that you could do with this. Okay, so here we go. Now, I, my whole hack was like, you don't even need tape and look at my, <laughs> look at my paper. Okay, let's see. All right, so now you're just gonna remove that. And look, it has foiled, it has foiled exactly 
um, onto our paper, okay? So again, it hasn't foiled directly on our design, but it has been a little bit off. It's almost like an offset or like kind of like a sketchy vibe or whatever, but I think it's super, super cute. Gives a really fun little glam um, addition to your design. Now, the, the foil quill itself, I'm gonna unplug it because it gets hot. The foil quill itself, as I said, um, the, it has different, there are different size tips. So there's a broader one, there's, um, there's one that's more fine. I think this is called like the, this is just the standard. Um, and so whichever one you use would give you a different thickness of the, the line itself, okay? All right, so super fun, super easy. Um, if you, people always ask, can you reuse these foil sheets? Um, you can reuse areas of the foil sheet that hasn't had the foil pulled out of it. So you won't be able to, you know, use this whole area, but you could, if you wanted, if you had a smaller piece, you could lay your piece of paper under this area and refoil in there and it would work just fine. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope that you learned a little something, uh, you know, pull this little trick out of your bag if you're interested in adding a little extra glam to your designs. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid to spare a mat. Also, make sure you put your grid lines on. That will definitely help you know where to position your paper or your vinyl or whatever you have um, on your mat. And that way, because as I said, had we, had we put our design way up here in the corner like this, we wouldn't have had an area on two sides to put the foil, okay? That's why I did it more in the middle, but then I need to use the grid lines to know exactly where so that it lines up in the studio first on the actual paper. Does that all make sense? Hopefully it does. Okay. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Be happy, be you, be kind, and I'll see you next week.